Hello everyone, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. So as some of you guys can notice, I'm back at my car and a couple days ago it was firework night. So we decided to drive somewhere quite far and go watch the fireworks and on the way back my rad pipe decided to have a little bit of an episode and burst open, draining all of my coolant fluid absolutely everywhere. So what I've done is I've done a nice quick fix on it just to get me home and I've managed to get it down to the office because as some of you guys might know, Driving without coolant is almost as bad as driving without oil and it can seize your engine. So at the moment it's still holding coolant right now because of this tiny little fix that I've already done just to get me home and it's leaking again. So I've got it booked in to get this all sorted in the next couple days but I need a little bit of a, a more permanent fix um, just to get me to and from work for the next couple days. So in today's video what we're going to be doing is repairing this rad pipe using a a puncture repair kit for a bike tire. So the first thing that we've got to do is get this out and take a look at the damage. So I thought I should give you guys a little bit of a close up of the fix that I managed to do just to get me home. And you have to bear in mind, I had absolutely nothing on me except a first aid kit in my car. So what I did actually is I got a plaster, I made sure I put the, made sure I dried it off, put the adhesive side over the little burst on the pipe and then wrapped it in bandage tape topped up the coolant and then drove home. And to be honest, it worked. So I thought I'd show you guys that. Okay, so I managed to pull off the upper rad pipe and this is the culprit of my problems. And I can show you that up close. So let me try and get this to focus. There we go. So that little slip right there is the main problem. And that's the reason why it's leaking coolant all over the place. But if I take a look at the inside, which I don't think you're gonna be able to see on camera, there's a much bigger break in it than what I expected. So, let's try and figure out how to repair this. Okay, so just before we actually get on with this repair, I want to make one thing very clear. And that is, this is not a permanent fix. You should only do this if you're in the most dire circumstances. Such as, like me, you can't get your car booked in for the next two, three days or the part that you need is currently out of stock and you can't reorder it for the next couple days and you just need to get from a very small destination to another very small destination. Like for me, my workplace is about one and a half miles, two miles away from my house. So this should hold up until I can actually get to a garage. But with that being very clear, let's get on with this repair. So right here is the rad pipe that actually burst a little bit and just as another close up, I will show you the slit right there and if you take a look on the inside it's a little bit bigger than what I was expecting. So what we're actually going to be using is a puncture repair kit because these can deal with a little bit of pressure because when you get a puncture in your tyre you obviously have to inflate it from anywhere between I think it's somewhere 20 to 60 psi depending on whatever tyre you're using. So these are going to be able to withstand a little bit of pressure so I thought this is actually a really good idea. And because the slit is a little bit bigger than what I was expecting, I'm going to be using the biggest um, repair piece that I've got and making sure that it wraps around like that. So the first thing that we have to do is sand down the area and make sure that it is completely clean. So let's do that. Right, so now we sanded down the area, we're going to take our rubber solution and just blob a nice amount around the area. So then we'll have to leave that for a minute and then stick our repair over the top. So let's do that. And there we go, so I actually finished putting the patch on and it's worked pretty well. And I grabbed some of this waterproof Gorilla Tape and just wrapped a little bit around it just to keep it extra secure. I made sure I've got a big bucket of water, put my hand over it and really built up the pressure inside of the tube just to see if there was any leaks coming out, uh, any bubbles in the water to indicate if there was any more leaks. And it seems to be okay. So what I'm going to do is reinstall this onto the car.
Okay, so that red pipe has been put on. I've made sure that the coolant has been completely topped up and now it's actually time to start the car. So I'm actually recording this on the weekend and this video is gonna go up on Monday. So I'll make sure that I'll do a follow up on Monday to see actually how this has lasted over the past two, three days. Right, that's enough blabbing. Let's get this thing started. So that started up no problems at all. So I'm actually gonna pull over to a different parking spot, leave it for around, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes, let it run and see if any of the coolant has leaked onto the floor. So today is now Tuesday and it's been around three, four days since I've done this repair and it's held up really nicely. I have a big old bottle of coolant in the back of my car just in case if anything's happened. But I've only had to top it up once because it went just below the maximum line. So that means it's probably got a diddy little leak on this pipe somewhere because when I stop it does feel just a little bit wet but it is still holding the coolant fluid and it's doing a really nice job. So my car is going to be repaired tomorrow. So I'm glad that it's been able to hold up for the couple of days just as an emergency so I didn't have to walk about everywhere. So before we end this video, let's go out for a little drive. So that was a nice little drive and I do that route very often and now we're back at work you can see that it hasn't drained any coolant fluid and yes there's a little little bit of moisture around the pipe but that's not a big deal because I just keep a massive bottle of coolant in the back of my car just in case. But like I said at the, at the beginning of this video this is not a permanent repair I mean it's good to do small journeys and to get you out of the emergency situations where you can't actually get anything done like, I mean, get the pipe repaired or get the part that you need, etc., etc. <clears throat> but with that being said, that does bring me to the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you later.